Hello everyone! <laughs> uh, this is such a random video. Okay, so basically backstory why I'm doing this video, or even what I'm doing. It's, uh... What time is it? It is 1.48 in the morning. Yeah. So, I'm wearing my PJs, which in the winter time consists of this robe because it's extremely comfy and warm. And, yeah, I'm this... Yeah. Kind of looks weird dressed in a black robe, but yeah, this is what I wear in the winter time when it's cold outside. Anyway, so what I'm doing today is, <laughs> or this morning, is I was actually just uh, oiling and practic uh, like cleaning some of the swords that I have, and one of them is like the one that I really like. Um, so I was like, hey, well since I have it out already and I just started a random video channel, let's do another random video that everyone will just be like, what the heck, when they see it. So, yeah. Okay, uh, so I'm going to show you the sword, obviously, but first I want to do backstory to tell you how I got it and, uh, like, what led me into it. So, when I was, like, nine years old or eight years old or something like that, I liked swords because my... Well, some of my favorite video games, like Legend of Zelda, the main character had a sword, and then I liked Star Wars, and they had swords, and then I started playing around, and me and my brother had like little stick, uh, sticks, like two by fours and stuff, we would tape and make into little swords, and we'd do like little uh, choreograph things, and we started doing like music to it, and like making battle scenes, and then as I got older, I realized that, uh, uh, like there were, you know, different types of fighters, like there's like, the Samurais, and there was like the European warriors, and any anyway, but I really, when I first saw like a katana, I was like, whoa, that looks really cool, and I kind of started to like it a lot, so I started reading a lot of stuff like uh, Mio to Masashi's, I'm probably mispronouncing it, <laughs> but I re read his books, his, uh, his, you know, Book of the Void, and Fire, and Water, and Ice, and all that other stuff, so I read that, it was pretty cool. Okay, so, sorry about that, my mom just randomly decided to come in, and she didn't want to be on camera, so I edited, that's why I chopped up. Okay, so back to the story, where was I? Ha! Huh. so, what was going on? Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was reading some books on, uh, you know, like, Japanese culture and other things like that. So I started to get into that probably around the time I was like 14 or so. So I started practicing with some of the stuff. Uh, I used to spend, when I had no, because when I was a kid I had like no life. So I actually spent time like practicing with practice swords and other things such as something like this for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours a day. Like three hours a day I'd play around with these things. Not anymore though. I don't have the time to play around with them. But, so I'd horse around and play around and do other stuff and basically just go crazy with swords and I'd like train with staffs and stuff like that because I thought it was cool. <laughs> anyway, and uh, so when I got to be older and I had my first job, then I finally had money. <laughs> so. So the first things I did when I got money was I always had wanted like a real sword. So I bought these really three set of cheap ones and I didn't know anything about buying swords back then. And I had some piece of crap sword that was made out of like 20, uh, 220 gauge steel. And it was just this piece of flimsy crap sword and I was like, oh. At first I thought they were awesome. <laughs> but yeah, then I went to, um, I did a lot more research and I started looking at swords and I wanted to find one that was going to be really good but it wasn't going to be the most expensive thing in the world. So I, I it was like looking at folded steel swords and uh, like the high-end ones and the super high-end ones were like you know a lot of money like two grand, three grand for some of, some of the really nice ones or like 1600 or whatever. I was looking at the Kami Katana for a while and I was like ooh that looks nice. But uh, eventually I decided that folded steel was like the cream of the crop and I, didn't, I wasn't really going to be a professional swords person so I wasn't going to go get the best sword in the world. But I still wanted something like good and nice that was going to be like something I could appreciate over the years. 
So I started looking around and I was like, hmm. And then I started, uh, I always liked uh, Miyota Musashi because of his books and everything. And I read them and I like practiced some of his moves with my friends and it was pretty cool. <laughs> so anyway, then there's this Miyota Musashi sword that has like pure functionality. No like decorative ornate, uh, you know, nothing ornate or whatever, but it was a uh, very high quality made. It was basically just it ranked about, I read a whole bunch of reviews and did a lot of research and it ranked just below like a folded steel sword and I'm not, I'm still not an expert or anything but uh, I, <laughs> I basically decided to go with that one and I also liked that it was bigger than your average sword because I'm a little bit taller, I'm like six foot one so something that's a little bit bigger actually suits my size a little bit better because the average Japanese person was around like five nine Whereas Miyoto Musashi was taller, he was in a, a, above six feet. I think he was taller than me, actually. So, uh, this sword was supposed to be, you know, built for him, but obviously he didn't use the swords later on. He would, like, fight people with the bokens and, like, wooden things that he carved. So, he's crazy. He is awesome <laughs> back in those days. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, I bought this sword. It cost me, uh, with shipping and taxes and all that other crap that you have to pay. It was like a thousand dollars Canadian. So it was still pretty pricey but it wasn't like two grand. <laughs> it's like eight fifty regular then plus you had tax and shipping and then there you go. So I bought that and I've been really happy with it. I got it when I was like seventeen or eighteen or no I was eighteen when I got it. Yeah, eighteen. Yeah, eighteen. Or was it nineteen? I don't know, it was 18 or 19, but it was a while ago. Like, I'm almost 23 right now. So we're talking quite a few years. So I bought it, but then I was working in jobs, and I stopped practicing because I actually had to do stuff with my life at that moment. So yeah, I haven't really, since about then, I haven't really practiced or done much with the swords. But then I was like, oh, I need to do some maintenance on these. So today, I took them out. I have three other ones. I have three main ones. I bought, I have two other ones that are pretty decent. They have full tang as well. And yeah, okay, so probably enough talking. So this would be the sword that I bought.